Hepatobiliary pancreatic surgery means I am doing the surgery of the liver, bile duct and pancreas. So the most common problems of the liver and bile duct and pancreas are as following. So I just start with the liver first. The primary problem of the liver which we treat can be divided into the primary cancer of the liver which are the cholangiocarcinoma, hepatocellular carcinoma and the sarcomas. And liver is also a big organ which gets some so much of metastatic problem from the other organs like colon which treat those one too. The other next thing is the bile duct. Bile ducts also have the cancer involving them primarily which is cholangiocarcinoma. We treat them too. And the pancreas also have the primary problem as the cancer which is we, the most garden variety of those is the adenocarcinoma of the pancreas. And depending on the location of the pancreas they further go into different kind of surgery which we can discuss in the next round. For the, for the liver problem, so most likely we have to take out the part of the liver where the problem is. Depending on the location and size of the tumor, it can be just a simple wedge section of the tumor or the partial section of the tumor or maybe the half of the liver has to come out depending on the size and location of the tumors. So the best part of the liver is the only organ which can regrow and we only need a 25 to 30 percent of the normal liver to live a healthy life. So God has given us an extra liver which we can take it out and still live a healthy life. But that depends also on the type of the liver we have. Some people have cirrhosis so we have to calculate different things to see how much liver you have to be left behind and how much can be taken away. The second thing is the bile duct. The most common cancer which can come from the bile duct for the cholangiocarcinoma or in other words we can say suggest adenocarcinoma involving the gallbladder or the common bile duct. Common bile duct is a duct which joins the liver with the small bowels. So depending on the location of the tumor which is close to the liver or which is close to the bowel, the different kind of surgeries can be done on those malignant, malignant cancers. Pancreatic cancer can be on a different location of the pancreas. The pancreas has the four main areas which you know that the head, neck, body and the tail of the pancreas. If the tumor is mainly involving the head of the pancreas then we do the most commonly procedure known as the Whipple surgery. But if it is involving the body and the tail of the pancreas we do the surgery which is known as a distal pancreatectomy and splenectomy. There are a lot of lesions which can be found incidentally in the liver or the pancreas which may be just benign. We can't assume them they are benign until unless to make sure we rule out the malignancy of those lesions. Depending on the location of the tumor, maybe in the liver or the pancreas, we can do this surgery by open means, by laparoscopical means or by robotic means. The liver, bile duct and the pancreas, they work together as a one unit. It's a very complex and challenging problem which we face in a day by day basis. Most of the patients don't have much information about this. But in the background, we have a multi, multi team approach to deal with these kind of problems. Especially the gastroenterologist, pathologist, radiologist and the surgeons. They work as a one team to diagnose these problems and then treat these problems. The medical oncology is also a very big part of our team too. Anyone has any problems with the liver, bile duct or pancreas in the form they may have benign problems or the malignant problems. The best way to tackle those kind of problems is to approach your doctors immediately, maybe your primary care doctors and then th those patients can be referred to us. Maybe the multi-team I said, maybe to gastroenterologists, maybe to radiologists, maybe to medical oncologist and we can fit back together and find the best possible solution for your problems.